I'm IBX 2 cat and welcome back to another second channel video and slash or stream on mobcrush.com slash IBX Toy Cat. Today I'm going to be playing some more Fallout Shelter. Uh, basically this is a series I can only do every few days because it takes a while to uh, get in between them. But today we're going to be playing some more of this. We're going to be building the vault, making it great, making it all these things. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. So welcome everybody to the chat. Um, welcome to day Toad Players 101. Welcome to everybody who's in there already. And uh, oh, we got 120 caps today. Awesome. So uh, yeah, uh, I came in literally two hours ago just to you know uh, get some stuff refreshed so I could be ready for this. And uh, if love was radiation, I need a box of rat eyes. <laughs> Honestly, I think Fallout might be worth playing just for all these cheesy dialogue lines. But yeah, first thing we need to do is get that food bar straight back up. Get those stim packs, get that power, and basically just keep the place going alive with that stuff. Uh, we'll also rush this boot place once just now, uh, just because it's one of those things that, you know, it takes it recalls over time. So, might as well get that out of the way. And now our food's covered, our thing's covered, and our adventurers have all come back. Uh, last episode, we're in that situation where we're like, oh, everything's, uh, everything's just on its way. But this guy has come back and he has <laughs> 1.2k stuff, so I think we can collect him. Yeah, he just comes back in that way. And now we have 2,000 caps and a bunch of weapons from this guy. That's awesome. We'll collect this guy too. Uh, and finally, this person over here. We'll collect them. And now we've got a bunch of caps, uh, which means we can do quite a few of these challenges. So, uh, yeah, the, the kind of goal we're always going towards is to get these challenges done. Uh, hey, Toy Cat. Colin D says, Rhino Jack. Hello, Rhino Jack. Uh, hello, Toy Cat says Creeper Slayer Zero One. Hello, how's it going? So yeah, these are our challenges we're gonna be working on. Uh, I don't know how you raise the special stat. Uh, I know how you make babies though, and you get a lot of caps for that. So yeah, let's create some babies. As you can see, these guys already made one. Uh, <laughs> if love was a box of, uh, if love was radiation, I need radaways. It's the most ridiculous line I've ever heard. But yeah, besides that, these people. Let's check their dialogue. I think the room needs. Okay, these guys are. Uh... They're not quite understanding. Oh, wait, she's pregnant already. Okay, that probably... Ex oh, maybe they got pregnant before. But, yeah, that probably explains lack of romance right there. Uh, oh, there's a there's a party going on in here. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, anyway. The guy with uh, the guy who came back, we want to send him straight back out. Uh, also, we might need to upgrade this room if it doesn't cost the world. And it kind of does. not It's like, oh, should I? Like, I, I clearly do need a lot more production from the restaurant. But it doesn't really add too much to my like actual ability to produce so maybe i should just make us another restaurant somewhere uh maybe that's gonna be better but yeah we'll see what we do about that anyway um yeah i think it'd be better just make another restaurant somewhere so we should make the restaurant here then make another room next to it and we'll send this guy out into the wasteland to go and do his own thing because he's been <laughs> he's gonna start a vault baseball team apparently oh raider attack this is the very first one i've ever had hey toy cats is mz255 hello mz um, it is me since I've been the cat. Welcome back to the stream. I do remember you. I guess we need to get this guy uh, Go to that room there I, Is he gonna help? Is, is there any way to help? Pull him outside maybe? No, is, are they just gonna break their way in? No, no, you, we need you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so there is a vault raid um, We need someone else with a weapon You 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 oh god. No, I don't want this guy to die Okay, we don't need some mechanics. Got love help. Yeah, we need to get this guy let da ah. This this game this is something I've never had happen before. Sounds like the first time. We're sending him in there. He's got a pretty decent uh, uh, assault rifle thing there. This guy he's probably got the best weapon we can to give him. And I've got this guy with no okay, so we, this this is this is a challenge right here. This is a challenge. So they're going around hacking up our people. We just have to keep sending people after them. Unfortunately they won't actually just follow, which you figure they do like Oh, there are people with uh, swords going past me, but whatever. Uh, what is Fallout Shelter? Fallout Shelter is a cool game based on the Fallout universe. Um, where you basically run your own shelter. Okay, I've killed one of them. I think that's two of them dead now, maybe. Uh, this last one just has to die. We've got... To... <sighs> See, like, like I said, she, she runs away. And uh, no one bothers following them. So, maybe we just have to equip all the citizens to stop this happening. Maybe that's what we have to do. But yeah, we just got to get... Oh, <laughs> okay, so she's uh, getting attacked. By... Oh, there we go. That's gonna kill someone real quick, I reckon. Okay, come on. Yeah, she's dead. So hopefully we get some more loot from them because they did also destroy the door. Or at least they broke it down or something. Oh. She's returning to Vault M. Oh wait, she's got a lot of money. Oh, awesome. Um, do we send her back? Oh no, she's coming back in six minutes. So that's awesome. But yeah, uh, I think the Vault raid was done. Uh, don't you mean Llamas says damn magic attacks? Uh, I always mean llamas. 
I always mean llamas. Oh, he's been someone else. Either way, I still mean always mean llamas. Um, so yeah, we got a few level ups from that, and about that comes with some cats. I now have lots of money to be splashing all over the place, but first of all, we need to sell our worst uh, pistol or anything we've got. So I think BB gun, that's definitely a sell. Let's get that 10 caps, and also get this 100 caps or 50 caps, whatever it is. Move on to the next challenge, have four female dwellers pregnant. So this is a challenge I should be working, because I do need to have another uh, like room like this. So over here, I'm going to build another living quarters because then I just need to have a woman in each of them pregnant, which is actually a realistic girl. So is this woman pregnant? I can't really see, but hopefully... Oh, it's it's starting from when that was. But either way, um, so we'll send... Wait, uh, we need to actually get everyone back to where they were. So I think this is the guy of the... Yeah, th okay, everyone's gone back to where they should be, except we've got a weird scientist here. I, I just, we've got so much we need to get sorted out here. But that's a uh, fallout shelter for you, isn't it? It is impressive how intriguing this is. So, I'd, I, I kind of want to upgrade the vault door, but it just, it doesn't, in, it doesn't really give you anything, like, because, you know, they have to break it down before I can fight them anyway, and they just run past this first room. So maybe it gives me more time, but to me, that's not too important right now. To me, I should be working on getting all this stuff I actually need done, so. What I can do, okay, so while they're pregnant, they can't really do too much, we just need to get a guy to just chill in here with the girl. So, Eric Carvey, you can chill there. Uh, Kimberly Sutton, I think these are the new people that came out of the, uh, like, the, the babies. So we'll send her to be the woman for over there. And then we'll just send in a guy with her. So, that should be reasonably simple. You you probably... Oh, he, he's got a sawn of shotgun. Was this one of the people I got? But anyway, uh, since he's roaming anyway, we'll send him there too. And then, yeah, we'll get some babies, won't we? Yes. Um, anyway, uh, what console and how much is it? Says IBX93. Uh, so all my Mobcrush streams are from a mobile device. This is on iOS exclusively right now. I think it's coming to Android in the future. I, I wish it was on Android because <laughs> I, I absolutely like my Android games. But uh, right now that is not the case. So if this uh, failed, yeah, I, I need to have another food place. It seems like just having one of these is not the way you get things done. So I reckon... Uh, down here, next to the living quarters, I'll have another restaurant. Uh, to me, that makes some sense. Because, uh, yeah, getting down, there's just all these rocks all over the place. And, uh, yeah, I think having the two restaurants being on the same floor makes some sense. I mean, I'm, try I'm trying to make a logistical thing, but are you going to make people have more babies by force as groups there? <laughs> of course not. They're, they're going to enjoy it, probably. Hopefully. Uh, see, we can, we, can, we can read up on what they're doing. Uh, they got some smileys going on there. Nothing like hanging out at home with my family. Oh, that's that's the end of their dialogue. Uh, not too much uh, going on there, then. Nothing like being safe and secure. I guess I've got a very happy vault, just not a very well-fed one. So, oh, this place is still horribly on fire. She can deal with that. But yeah, as soon as that's done, I'm going to work on building a new building. But until then, I can't really. Uh, so I'm going to send this guy back out to the wild. Uh, where is he? Here he is. And then we can keep an eye on his adventures, because he is a very profitable uh, vault dweller. Uh, we'll just send him out there, shall we? Oh, he didn't. Wait. Go. Be free. Okay, so apparently I can't do a lot of things while there's a lot of fire in this place. <laughs> Are you going to get full out forces, Dan Match Tax? I am going to definitely get full out four. Uh, so yeah, for now, we'll send this guy into the fire to put that out. Um, yeah, she seems like she's getting pretty badly burnt by this whole thing. That's not great. Force love and fires. Force love and fires. That's a that's a nice little slogan. Not well. It's a, it's also a horrible slogan, but it's also no. It's not also nice. It's just horrendous. Anyway, so yeah, let's uh let's rush the oh one of the guys in the power station's missing. Okay, so we've got a spare woman here. Uh, should we is do we okay? So let's send her to the power plant because that was empty apparently. And then let's let's send the spare woman over to there. See, I'm just getting too many people to know what to do with them all at this point. Uh, I need someone to run the restaurant. So that oh, there we go. Okay, I can finally do that. See, I need to have none of these diners because that is just being my biggest issue right now. Oh, no more space for construction. Yeah, actually, yeah, I've run out of all the room. I need to destroy one of these rocks. I don't know if they get more expensive as you go down. Yeah, they do. That's uh, wait. I wonder if they like cost like a thousand down. Okay, three fifty. And then down here, oh yeah, so expanding it gets harder and harder, but it's something that must be done. 
So I guess, logically, there's a lot of space down here, so first one we should do is that, and then that allows us to build an elevator shaft. Build over here. Uh, we can actually probably build one at the end over here, too. I reckon that's uh, doable. Let's see what happens if we try. Oh yeah, I can indeed build an elevator there. So that might be worth doing just to make the vault easier to traverse, but for now, I'm just going to focus on having more rooms and stuff. Is anyone getting 2x the chat? Uh, I am definitely not, but that's just me, of course. Uh, by the way, thank you to everyone who likes the stream on Mob Crush. Uh, still have no idea what it does, but it's it's still probably good. I mean, wouldn't be calling like it wouldn't be called liking if it wasn't good. I assume. Uh, so yeah, we need to work out what the diner actually uses. So let's check that actually. The diner is agility, which I like, kind of makes sense. We just need to find someone with a lot of agility, which is the A stat, and they'll be great at the diner. So. I mean, in theory, I, I mean, if I don't have anyone, then that will just suck. But if I do, then I can do something cool. So we can send him out now. In, oh my, he has all the stim packs. Oh, no, he doesn't have any stim packs. We'll send him out with three stim packs. Uh, we'll see if he's got any... Whoa, okay, so that's some good stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I reckon he's ready to go exploring. And, yeah, we can, if we get some other people in here, that'd be good. But for now, I think everyone's kind of assigned where they should be. I mean, these people are just running around here. There's one guy in here that doesn't count as being in here. Okay, no, he is in here now. So we can rush his room. So, that's so he is useful. And it failed. I don't know why my odds of uh, failing. Like, uh, I always seem to do well when it's like 50%, and I always do badly when it's like 20%. It's like an anti-lottery. Is that an anti-lottery? Yeah, something like that. Uh, so yeah, we just need to find someone with agility, really. But I... Okay, so he's got two. This guy is technically slightly better, although he, I think he's for perception, which is... Oh no, he, okay, so he's in the power generator room? I mean, no, he's in the water room, so he's, he's in the right place. Uh, do you have agility? No. Do you have agility? Okay, she's got some agility. Uh, it's better for her not to be in here then, because I've got a lot of power already. Uh, so let's lift her up, and let's put her in the diner. So she's going to produce some food now, uh, because the vault is, like, crucially dying. I need to rush this, and I need to succeed if everyone's not going to stop, you know, starving to death. There we go. Like it if you do like it, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, I, I think it's pretty cool that people uh, just have that memory. To be fair, that, that is what they have to do. This is like the reverse of Tiny Towers. Uh, yeah, it is actually. Uh, I, I've never played Tiny Towers, but I'm familiar with the concept. And uh, yeah, it is basically the reverse of that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if we just upgrade this once, we don't need to do it too many times. The production on that should be a pretty good boost. And we're going to get some good stuff done. So. Uh, yeah, I guess um, the next thing we should build is that science thing we couldn't build last time for money reasons. Uh, yeah, assign dwellers here to get radaways. So, I don't know if I have anyone who's great at making radaways, but still, that'd be nice. Although, I can make a radio studio soon. But yeah, science lab. Build one just over here, just below the other lab. And I, I still need, I think I need uh, stim packs more than I need radaways. So, I reckon we'll, we need to find an intelligent bolt for them now. Which is uh, seemingly tricky. Oh, they're dancing together. I think about you all the time. Uh, Soy Cat, did you know that Easter Bunny is Emzy's cousin? I did know that Easter Bunny was Emzy's cousin. Uh, make a mad, mad lab. Uh, it's the best outro ever, says Ryan Logic. I'm glad you think so. That's really cool. Oh, yeah! Romance! I did it. Oh, they're gonna go. <laughs> is this how people go to bed in real life? <laughs> oh, and then someone just walks through and sees them. Do they have bunk beds back there, too? Okay, weird. Uh, so yeah, we've got Joanne right. She's just roaming the place. Um, she's got C, which is... Yeah, that makes her that makes her a perfect wifey character. Are these gone? Yeah, for some reason, the uh, I think these people must be family. I think I must have really goofed there. So, if we send her, she doesn't have much intelligence, but... Well, she, in fact, she has one. But still, we'll put her there. Oh, she has two. Never mind. Uh, then we'll take the roaming dweller, who I lost all of a sudden. Oh, there she is. Uh, she's got charisma, and she's probably not related to this man. Because I, I think you can't make people who are related do stuff. And, yeah, that's... that's Yeah, that, I think I think there's probably good reasons behind that. Uh, I'm not going to disagree with those. But, yeah, I, I don't know why my food situation is suddenly going out of control like this. But, uh, yeah, my, my, my food production's all over the place. I might just have to pay the ridiculous amount of money to upgrade this place to the next level. Maybe it's because I've got all these new uh, dwellers coming in, and it's going to strain my food. It, pro it probably is that, but I'm genuinely having to rush just to keep the place alive. 
which is something no one ever has, wants to have to do, and that's a fail. <laughs> uh, yay, Fallout, says Bolts the Clown. Uh, have you played any uh, Fallout Shelter Bolts? Or in fact, anyone in the chat, I mean, I, I, I'm obviously playing right now, and I think it's pretty cool. But uh, it's it's a game that, you know, it, it's easy enough to ignore, but it's, it's cool and it has a lot of Fallout-y themes in it. So it's, it's worth mentioning in a quick thing. So yeah, as soon as we have any more spare dwellers, I think we've caught all of them now. No, wait, is she spare? No, she's pregnant. Well, he's kind of spare. spare. And yeah, he's basically useless. Because he, I mean, he's, he's a little bit old and, you know, he's already impregnated. Oh, we've got something at the door. So let's, let's take a minute, I guess. So, oh, she came back from the thing. Okay, let's, let's read how this went. She was out for three and a half hours. I don't know how she survived all that time. Okay, this only shows the last half now. But you can see she's got herself 311 caps, which is nice. She's got herself an enhanced scope, uh, two useless weapons, and yeah, just generally pretty good stuff. So, pretty happy about that. Uh, now we're getting Radaways too, that's awesome. Uh, with her back in the vault, does, her, does our population go up? I'm not sure if that's how it works. Um, should we upgrade one of these residences? Oh no, well, current. <laughs> oh, we can currently have 36, so that's not what's holding us back at all. Oh, well, that, that's pretty cool to hear about. Um, no, well, I will after this. Um, to, I'll be excited to get what you stream tomorrow, says Dan, match attacks. I definitely uh, will. Neither have I, says MZ. I, I, I think it's, uh, if you have iOS, it's worth downloading. I mean, it's just, it, it's one of those games that you just play for a bit and then you can't play for so long. But it's Fallout themed, so it's a lot cooler. I mean, if you don't like those games, you might like this one. If you kind of like those, you might really like this. I mean, that's kind of how it works. Uh, to MZ Bolts, and of course, everyone else in the chat. So, the science lab, let's just rush it, because you get caps for that. Like, it is kind of backwards when you get caps, just that, like, this is one of the best ways to get caps, just to luck, let chance do its own thing. But maybe that's for the best. Anyway, so, this person's strength has gone significantly up, so I reckon I'm going to send them back out, but with a different... Oh, wait, she can't go back out. But, yeah, I'm going to give her a new... Oh, she got a very good weapon. Never mind. I was going to give her something better, but I think... Yeah, she's generally got the best weapon she could probably have there, so... Uh, we're also going to equip the other Vault Dwellers here that are in Rushing Room, so for instance her. We're just going to give them some form of weapon, just so they don't have to be useless, so point thirty two pistol, there we go. And uh, let's also work on these challenges then, shall we? So, getting those Baby Dwellers and those Female Dwellers pregnant, it's really all I can do at the moment, which means I don't get too much to do for a while, which is kind of a shame. Um, and besides that, I guess get 20 yeah so everything uh, hinges on the population uh, only got android shame because this looks good i will be coming out on android at some point in this month i really can't stand when games are like oh we're gonna re we're gonna release there first it just uh feels a little weird if you ask me like because android is the bigger platform oh i did something good where'd i do something good something oh there we go okay so yeah they were family and now they're not is there a thief in the vault because you stole my heart T too cheesy, too cheesy. It's so cheesy that it's kind of cool. Almost. And then it's too cheesy again. <laughs> uh, what I reckon it is, I'm producing enough food, I'm just... Yeah, so I guess we'll leave them to their thing. Uh, we'll... Oh, yes, scaling that number up. I want to upgrade this place, but it doesn't give me too much compared to if I upgrade this room over here, which is a triple room, I get... Yeah, I think I need to just invest in it and do it. Uh, it kind of hurts, but uh, I guess it's going to have to. So, 1,500. Oh. Ah, oh, and I used up all the power. Oops. I wish I'd known. Oh, that's a problem. So, yeah, we're going to have power cuts unless we can get a rush up successfully. And then we're going to be running all about that power. And I can see this being a self-creating loop problem. But, yeah, let's just rush these places. Oop, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, rushing can't solve all your problems, but it can solve a lot of them. What's your favorite color, Llama? Says I'd be example of cat. Well, now my favorite color is Llama, yes. Uh, as soon as it comes out on Android, I'm downloading because it's so messed up. Because, it, yeah, it's. Like, I, honestly, like, I don't think it's that messed up. It's just got some funny lines of dialogue. So, yeah, now they're family, so they're not going anywhere. I don't know how I'm making this mistake so often. So, we just take this guy out. And we put in someone else, I guess. Uh, oh, you go down there. Is there. Are they just switching vaults now? I mean, rooms? That's not what I wanted at all. But they just come as one because they're a couple. It might work that way. Anyway, so I guess... 
Uh, let's send her. What does strength do? Let's let's see what can she she can do with her stats. So uh, strength is for the power generating room. And uh, she's got she's got quite a few things. But yeah, we'll put her in there because she needs to be. Oh wait, no, wait. We'll put her down there. And her up there. Just make him trade places like that. Should do some magic. We'll send her out into the wasteland. We'll give her an upgrade quickly. Um, do you know when you can stream Mob Crush on Android? I honestly do not. I honestly do not. So we'll give her a rat away, just so she doesn't die. She's got a laser pistol, which is nice. She could probably have a oh no, strength plus three. It's probably the best thing she can have, actually. Yeah, it is. Uh, endurance maybe might be better. Yeah, she has an endurance lacking. Uh, I'll give her that though. There we go. Go explore. Do, oh wait, go with two stun packs. Do your thing. Have some fun. So yeah, now we uh, now we just wait until they find something of use, uh, because we can actually just uh, keep an eye on what he's doing all the time. He's been out there for eight minutes, but he's already gotten ninety-seven caps. That is like madness. Uh, he's also he's got these two stim packs. He hasn't got any weapons yet, but that's fair enough. So yeah, now I kind of want to upgrade either the science lab or the med bay just for. Oh, you do. These things are really worthwhile to upgrade. Because obviously you get two times as many at once. And then if you... if you, I don't know what storage is. I guess if you... You know, if you don't come back for a while, you can get up to ten. That's still pretty nice if you ask me. But yeah, let's just rush this place. Might as well get some more med packs or a fire. Oh, yeah. And there's a power issue again. So, I think one of the power generators is going to have to be upgraded. How much are you to upgrade? 750? How much are you to upgrade? 1125. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, we, we now have a food issue and uh, a thing issue. Fortunately, water is going just fine. I think it's because I took someone out of here. Like, I think it goes a lot faster with two people. Yeah, I reckon it's got to be something like that. So, you're pregnant. Uh, let's just send you to in there, maybe? There we go. So, he's, he's not going to be useful, but he's, he's going to do something. Low food supply. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I don't have the food to power the rooms that I need for the food. Yeah, this is this is going disastrously. So, let's just do some rushes and let's just hope they go somewhere. If they do, they save me. And now that's done, I can rush you. No, I can't. Now that's done, I can rush you in the triple room. 50-50 chance here of whether this ruins everything. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to give her a gun because she's in the room by herself. Just a 10 minute pistol. Something to keep her alive. Obviously, guns don't help you fight fires, but still, they can, they can help fight something else. Uh, guess what the makers of Fallout said shall have been Android this month, says Dan Matchax. Oh yeah, I, I'd heard that, I'd heard that. Um, hi, says Tank Matt. Hello, Tank Matt. How's it going? Ooh, this, yeah, this place is, uh, suspiciously on fire. Like, I mean, uh, I like how it actually goes back a little bit now that I've expanded it. But yeah, it's, uh... It's very, very much on fire. It's uh, one of the problems I'm having there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't realize these rooms are actually getting like more in depth as I do more to them. Like this power plant has the stuff in the back. This one doesn't. And yeah, I, I reckon each room must be slowly getting bigger and better as I open them, which is pretty cool. What do you say there? I really hope everyone else is as happy as I am. <laughs> he, sa he says that while there is that fire over there. How does one even get on fire? I guess one would get on fire by standing on fire. I just been oh yeah, my my food issue is real. I have got a double issue right here. I guess I just need to send people in there to do their thing. So, are these people family? Okay, now these people, they got actual things to be doing. This guy needs to be in the power plant, helping out maybe. Maybe he should be in the food place. Send him to the food place with his fire extinguisher, because we need to get something done about this crazy mess. Because it's, it's just such a big room, like, putting out all those fires will take a while, so. I'm glad I fixed that. And check these challenges. Yeah, I, I, we got two more to get pregnant, so they're doing pretty well up there. Oh, finally, food. Uh, okay, it was enough to actually get me above the line. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know why this fire is so massive and big, but it, it's, it's going to just take forever. So, in the meantime... When iOS 0.12.0 comes out, will you do a stream? I will, I will, for sure. 
Uh, we need to leave them together. I don't think we need. Oh wait, wait, wait. We've gone intelligence. What's he useful for? What does what does intelligence do? Um, wait. I it won't let me find out. I think it's for the Radaway plant. So I'll send him to Radaway instead. He's got a science lab thing on. So if I send him over, can I not move him? Okay, can I, I can move him there. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this guy. Let him do his own thing. We have to leave the pregnant woman behind. Okay, so he's working on that. I'd like him down there. If he's gonna, yeah, okay, he's gonna da get down there, and then we'll get this woman to go in there to put out the fires and help him with food. That should fix all my problems. That's the dream, anyway. Oh yeah, I get. <laughs> yeah, I I reckon that should uh, keep the diner like just powering for its own thing. Uh, more pregnant dwellers means we can apply more stock this whole thing. If we throw in more money on the whole equation, then we should have something good. And then awesome. Uh, can people die to death in this game? Uh, they can actually. You have to give them stim packs if they start dying too badly. So that's a thing you've got to watch out for. Um, yeah, I don't know why this guy went back down there. You go, I'm afraid. And then she's going to go up there. Oh, I guess if you send them to fight a fire, they go back to where they were afterwards. That's not entirely what I want right here. So there we go. We've got three people in the kitchen now. Which means it's only going to take 40 seconds. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, there's something... Okay, so this power plant needs to do its thing. Which it's done. It's done. No, it hasn't. Okay, they're, okay they're, they're going to do their thing though, that's awesome. 46%? Oh, I've got 43%. Let's do it. If you can power on, then my food power on. And if no, okay. <laughs> and we've got a rad rich death station coming. So, we'll give you a gun. Uh, send me a pistol. Just so we can get these done over faster. Okay, that's four female dwellers pregnant, I believe. Do we have. Okay, yeah, we've got space for one. Yeah, we have to wait for one of these to give birth, but we can get another one. But we're doing a pretty good job at being efficient with all these. Uh, play Minecraft tomorrow. I am playing Minecraft on stream. I was going to do one over the weekend, but of course I was in Cologne, Germany. Uh, so I could not. I don't know if I should say Cologne, Germany, or just Cologne. Because I doubt most people know. Where, oh, oh, where? <laughs> uh, this, this guy is just, ah, that we did it, we did it. Awesome. So, we might have to try this again. 53% means no. Uh... Because, yeah, this this food is seriously suffering while I can't... Ah, oh, why does this keep happening? I'm going to have a red roach infestation. I think it's easier to deal with when it's in single rooms. It looks like it's just one or two rad roaches. I'm not sure if it actually is that way or if it's just how it looks. But it's, that's how things are. Anyway, this guy's got some endurance, which is needed for... In Where is endurance needed? I... I guess he'd be useful here. Let's just put him in there anyway. Let's just let him do his thing. Then we'll rush this room now. It's got two people. 61%? No. 53%. Yeah, we just we just need that power. People are going to die if we don't. And I, I just keep getting unlucky on these things. More and more rooms are powering off, which is not good at all. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of worrying. What's your favorite candy toy cat? Uh, if you mean a candy in American sense, like including chocolate. Uh, I really, really love uh, their chocolate bar called the Butterfinger. You mean candies in the British sense? Like more of a sweet type deal? Uh, I guess probably uh, Skittles. Like a good, a good bag of Skittles. You might wonder what makes a good or a bad bag toy cat. And uh, that is a deeply complex question, but there is definitely an answer. So yeah, we just have to wait for... Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, he, he killed it. I can't rush this room anymore because they will just genuinely die. But I need this power to, to, to keep everything gut running. This is a yeah. This this is a real problem I've got here. So we just need to wait for one of these rooms to finish naturally because they're not doing it otherwise. Uh, the pregnant woman can't work unfortunately, and this room is still on. So if we just send one of these people into there, that'll do something. So I'll send wait. I'll send the one who's injured into there. Oh, she's got five agility. So maybe, maybe she shouldn't be going. Okay, whatever. Let, let's just send her there for now. That that food bar is going suspiciously close to zero. It's on five. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry. Let's go for my sour patch kids. I think I like I like sour patch kids. I've had them once. They're very sour, which I guess 
I can't really complain about it. It's quite seriously uh, plastered all over the game. I mean, all over the name. I said name. Game said name. Also, I realize my mic's been on low this whole stream because every time I hit broadcast, it resets all the settings. So, my bad. Uh, do I just rush? Just do it. Please work this time. How many times are you going to fail? <laughs> uh, yeah, we need that power to come. Okay, there we go. We got food. So, at least don't die yet. That's awesome. But both these people are going to need a stim pack, I imagine. Which is... Oh, no, that's the same person again. Oops. Well, I guess they're a lot better off now. Then, when they're unrushed, we can rush these people. They have a good chance of success. And then, these guys will be finished soon. Actually, does the whole place turn off while you're rushing? It might just do. I mean, still get what's your favorite drink. I like a good glass of, like, orange juice. If you mean alcoholic-wise. Uh, I don't know, really. A good cocktail. Uh, something like that. Anyway, let's, uh, rush this room. Okay, now this is, this is going pretty good by itself. Let's try rushing this room again for 63. No. Okay, in five seconds this is done. It's not enough to do it, but then once, if I rush it after that, it might be enough. Oh, do I have enough? Do, should I just pay for it for the extra free? No, the storage isn't really that useful to me, so... Let's just rush you straight away. 51%. Just work, please, this time. There we go. And still not enough to light up my room over here, apparently. Can I not send someone else in there? I can't even rush the room at... Uh, <laughs> just having some serious issues here. I don't know why my power suddenly became an issue. Like, I think upgrading that room just increased the power flow. Wait, do you get to see what every, every room uses? So, this says... Wait, let's, let's see. Nope, you just get to see who's in there. Okay, fair enough. Um, no drunk. Okay, well, then, precisely, a good glass of good orange juice. Orange and mango. I know the fruits of life's low game. Thank you for the tips, though. Um, I guess I just increased one of the power plants in size. But then, it might be the only way. It might... This is the only way out of the mess. Let's just do it then. But that did that turn off the power plant? No, it didn't. Okay, so then okay, no, it's on. Okay, this will when this fin uh, finishes should get me back up to max. Uh, we'll have to rush. Oh, we don't rush it all. Keep it in the alive. Then we can rush it because we've got a good chance of success. Yeah, and we're getting above that like I'm gonna die line. This time it will fail. Oh, no, we've got a lot of success. Okay. There we go. Everything's just staying about right until this is done. And then when that's done, everything turns back on, including this restaurant. And then, boom. So, okay, you should play Lego games. I've always considered it. Do you really, gamer? This game is a lot more complicated than I thought. Uh, yeah, you main, well, the main thing is you've got your free resources up there. You've got your power. You've got your hunger. You've got your water. And you're just trying to make sure that they're all above the thing but then above that it's like about expanding your vault trying to keep more stuff going on like there's a reason i haven't got a massive vault even though i've been playing a couple hours you you gotta slowly do it and you know you gotta make sure you have everything in place and besides that it's just you know all about getting these challenges i just want one more female dweller to get those 200 caps and then yeah that's awesome so as soon as one of these women gives birth i'm good i don't know how you find out how long they have till they give birth she just went in a happiness while I was staring at her but yeah, that's what we're, we're waiting for right now. So these guys, in a minute, they're done. Let's check up on the uh, exploring dwellers, though. So she's got 31 caps. Not bad. And this guy has 124. So he's actually starting to collect quite a few right there. Um, he looks pretty unhappy, but caps. Uh, that's you know, that, that's part of the course, I guess. Ooh. And we just leveled a guy up. Awesome. Two caps. <laughs> uh, I... I don't know, like, there's a load of, like, things which give you caps. Like, um, you know, for instance, leveling up or rushing a room. And I don't know how many caps. You just kind of, you just, you just get some. So, ooh, more level up. So, it's the, the, for this, I get seven caps. Maybe it's the number of caps the level is. I'd like it if that, it was that. Like, that seems pretty logical. Uh, should I send this guy out? 
there isn't enough power, we need more. Should I send this guy out until we do do that? Yeah, let's let's just send him to the power generator. Uh, oh, he's, he's the wrong person for that sort of a job. Well, let's do it anyway. And then this does nothing for me. Let's just send him in there anyway. Maybe he helps out. Yeah, he, he does his thing. He's not that useful, but he's going to try anyway. Sort of attitude I like. Uh, so yeah, the food, the food situation is under control. The power situation is getting under control. We're working on it. And honestly, should I like, send these people to work in the power plot while their room's useless anyway? I could do. They're getting pretty upset about the whole ordeal. Yeah, let's, let's send one of them in there. We'd always take one out when it's done. Oh, they're trading. That's not what I wanted at all. Either way, whatever. So, come Ah. Oh. <laughs> they just don't produce enough. So, yeah, we'll get this guy back in there. I don't, is, there is there any space for one more in there? Yeah, I, I think maybe... Uh, well, let's find out. Let's put this this woman in there and let's see if the... Uh, okay. Yeah, that's sped it up quite a bit. We have some grunt workers in there. Just try and get this big, big thing out at once. And then as soon as that's done, we're good. But, got the mini restaurant at the end here going pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Uh, whoops, I am so late. Let's focus. It is, uh, you are actually pretty late. We're uh, coming to the end a uh, few minutes of the stream here, actually. I didn't even realize that myself, but, uh, I have a video going up in seven minutes that you'll probably want to watch. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, check on these two people. Either of them worth bringing back yet. It was a tough fight, but I killed the Yao guy. Uh, I guess I should recall them. Uh, or maybe I should let... I think I'll recall this uh, one here. And because uh, the other one, even if he dies, he's usually worth thousands by the time I bring him back. So, yeah. Um, I guess what we do from here is we... We we just we hope one of these goes off soon, and we hope for that. But uh, for now, I think yeah, it's a, it's a game of waiting. Uh, this place is very dark and empty. This place is dark and empty. We need more power plants, basically, and we just we just don't get we don't, we don't got that right now. Maybe I should have a power plant next to here so the guy can switch between the two. I'll do that actually. Yeah. So we have a power power plant just over here, and then we move this guy who was in the room next to it. We'll send this guy to work on it, and then he can rush it, and then we'll get something good done. Like if you cry every time. Like the stream if you do cry every time. I mean, not if you cry every stream. I mean, if you cry every stream, that's kind of a problem in its own right. But like like, like the stream if, if reasons. There, there are reasons I swear. So let's just rush this place. We might get some power. Yeah. And it, oh, okay, one more rush, and we'd actually be there. 44%? The odds are on my favor. But the same... Yeah! The room turned back on. I just did it. That was a viable strategy for me. Okay, we got the food. We got the hunger. Under control. Uh, one more rush would be pushing it. But this place, probably... No. This place can... No. <laughs> so yeah, there's no more rushes for me to do. Uh, I just have to... Uh, really just... Wait till next time. There's going to be four pregnant women... Uh, to let out their stuff. Uh, once they're done, I'll be able to get the uh, eight wet baby dwellers thing, which will be pretty awesome, as well as the uh, pregnant thing. And then, wait, what was that challenge? Raise any special stats, served with. I don't know how you raise one of their stats, that's the thing. Like, is it putting on a coat, for instance? So if I put on a, his battle armor, does that... No, that's not what it means. So, yeah, there is a way to raise their stats. I'm probably going to have to check up how you do that. But, um, in fact, let's, let's do it now. There's probably a, no, uh, in there maybe. Ooh. We're, we're starting to actually collect a lot of these weapons. So it looks like they're in order of how good they are. And I have, oh, that armor piercing sniper rifle and the Black Hawk are actually really close to the end, which is cool. And this, besides that, we get, we're, we're getting some good stuff, basically, which is awesome. Yes, the power is all on. Food can be made. This, this man, who it seems very sad, can be sent back. Uh, wait, is he, was he good at? Yeah, he's good at that. So there we go. The place is going back to how it should be. Uh, <laughs> everyone seems a bit sad about the whole deal, so that's what I'll be fixing next. Uh, and yeah, like the stream to get plus one speed. Real life and Minecraft. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching this stream. 
Like I mentioned, I have a video going up in four minutes on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ibxclicker. And besides that, I will see you all in the next stream. I'm streaming tomorrow, Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'll see you all there. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.